This video is about interpolation and extrapolation. Interpolation would be if you want to find a value between two observed values. Extrapolation is if you would go past what you have observed, higher, later. So in, uh, in this case I can just type in here what I want to show. We will do that for the world population and later on for a different situation that is about the relationship between partial oxygen pressure and the percentage of hemoglobin oxygenation. So here I can type whatever I want. Let's say in 2050, that is extrapolation, that would be the point. How did we calculate that? I will show you that here. If I want interpolation, like say, say 1700, the year 1700, we don't have data on that, but then it would be 0.8 billion. How did we get that? First of all, we put here in a simple formula. If the value you typed in in A12 is greater than the highest value in column A, then put extra, otherwise the word inter, and then the word pol polation for A12 is the value you found. So this will automatically adjust if you want that. Then once you type in here 1700 for instance, then this one is going to find where is that? What is the previous value that we have observed and what is the next value? Again, we do that if A12 is greater than the highest value, then put in there this value for you want the two last ones for extrapolation. But we are not doing extrapolation here, so we need the index function. Table is the name, the range name for the entire table A2 through B9. Uh, which row do you want? We use the match function to find the row number of A12 in the range name years, that is A2 through A9. The answer is in column 1. And then we want to find in the table the column number 1 in the row that was found by match. So this formula is clear. The next one is exactly the same but we add plus 1 to the match function. Match, etc, etc, plus 1. That's the only difference. Then we have to find in the second column what the corresponding population size is. So we use again the if function, an index function based on table, the match function again based on A12, but this time found in years again, and in which column? In column 2 way at the end. The next one is exactly the same again, but we have to add plus 1 to the match function. The row number plus 1, one row further. It's clear that your table should be in an ascending order. Then finally, we have to find what is that value between those two if there were a linear relationship between the two. We use the trend function that says we want to find A12 by checking in the y values b13 through b14, these two, find the corresponding ones there, and find a12, 1700. Okay. That's all you need to do. So we get the two results here, but if we want to plot this in a graph, then we need three sets of coordinates. The first one starts at zero, assuming that all your axes start at zero. If not, then you have to adjust that zero. That should also be there. And the rest is simple. These two inherit from here. Those two inherit from there. So if I change this one into 2050, we will get a point that is much higher than what we have observed, that is extrapolation. How did we get this curve in here? I'm, I'm going to delete it for a moment to just show you how we did that. Uh, how you do this, I, I'm sure you know that. You have to start with your table. That now we are going to right click in there. We select the data. We add a new set of data based on three sets of coordinates. I'm not giving it a name. So these are my x values, go to the y values, that's why we have to type them here, and you get this. 
that's probably not what you expected. You wanted a straight line, so right click on that curve, change this chart type, and that series 2, which I did not name, should be with straight lines. And click on OK, and that's the result we got. Once you know this, you can do something similar for this situation. But in this case, I do it twice. At one point, I can determine which x value are you using, and in that case, which y value are you using, and find the corresponding x value. So, this is basically the same as we did before, so I'm not going to show you those extensively anymore. And of course, you need, based on those two sets, you need a trend function. Then you put three sets of coordinates here. They make up for that curve. But now we have to do the opposite. We have to find how much would be the x value if this is the y value you are looking for. So the formula here would be as follows. For 25 we find 10 and 20. 20 is the same row plus 1, the next available row. Then we find the corresponding value here with the index function. In this case the table is again the entire table from B3 through B15. Hemoglobin is the range C3 through C15, so I don't have to use those cell references. And the answer is in column 2. Here also in column 2, but don't forget to add plus 1 to the match function. This of course is the trend function, but this time you have to make sure that you use E14 through E15 first, and then F14 through F15, because that is based on the new F13 value. And you plot that information there. If you want to do this and want to protect the information that is here, so that no one can erase those formulas, so that you can only type here and there, how would you do that? By locking those formulas. That's a little more involved than it looks. You have to select all the cells, go to their format settings. In protection, you unlock them all. They are not really locked yet because we have protection not turned on. But first you have to unlock them all. By default they are all locked. And then we are going to just lock this set. Hold your control key. And that set. And only for those you are going to turn the lock on. Format the cells. Lock them. OK it. And then turn protection on. Review, protect the sheet. I am leaving all the default settings. So from now on, I cannot type anything in there. I cannot type anything in there, of course. I cannot delete anything. I'm trying to delete it. Not possible. But I can still change this. I can say what would be the value if I went for 35. And everything will nicely update and it will find that spot. If I want to find what the situation would be for 40, I would find that. 